Well, at the end of last video, well, we know how it went. Detroit absolutely lit me up, like to another level. However, we still won. But according to the coach, we didn't, which my challenge was, hey, I'll win the next game. And I did. And the coach was like, no, sorry for doing what you asked of me, coach. My bad. Oh, wow. Carolina's unbelievable. 45, 17, and 8. They are six points ahead of us, and there's no games at hand for either team. It's just 70. Well, doubt we're catching them for presidents, but I guess you never know. Okay, the Canucks are really fighting for a spot here. This is a crucial part of the season with a record like that. Let's see if we can ruin it for them. So here we go. Vancouver, Ottawa. Game number one of this video. We have a 1-0 lead for Vancouver. We have a 2-1 game. They only have 13 shots. Man, why am I getting scored on so easy? I'm 86 overall, and our defense is stacked. So is our depth. Anyway, let's go get scored on a couple more times. I can't wait for them to get a single shot and score, just because that's how things work around here, apparently. Yeah, shoot it. Oh, yes, let's go. <laughs> he did the what? That was the most dramatic open net finish I have ever seen in my life. Look at that one fan selling beside the mascot. Yeah, get that mascot out of here. What a goal, though. Not really, but just what a way to score that goal is the way I wanted to put that. <laughs> Goes down on one knee, pretty much went into slow motion. Like, he went full Hollywood on that. If you guys want to get the lead, I wouldn't complain. I'd actually be pretty happy. First, he steals my number. Then he breaks his stick on a shot? Get real, Shabbat. Can't wait till they take one shot and score. Can't wait for it. I'm so excited. Going below and in front. Oh, shot block. Otherwise, probably would have been a sniper -oo. No, definitely would have been a sniper -oo. I take it back. Goal. You had a wide open shot. And put one right into the pillows of whoever that guy is. I really did not even read his name. Oh, no. Oh, no. Big save. And I smothered it. Wow. I am shocked. It wasn't one for one today. I don't know why I'm saying today as if I didn't... Ooh, nice try. What a blocker save, though. As if I didn't just finish recording the other one. Yeah? Do it. Ooh, that, that was uh, an interesting shot. Very well placed, I would like to say. And a great glove save by Mr. Leon. I actually have no idea how to pronounce that name. Not even... That was my guess. That right there was what I would have assumed it's pronounced like. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. He's got it. Back to the point. Subban. Oh, it gets blocked. So there we go. Oh, well, that probably would have been a save. So I'm kind of upset, actually, that <laughs> that happened. Actually, what am I saying? It would have been tipped in seven different directions, and it would have ended up going bar south somehow. Also, apparently, I got really lucky with my Be a Pro draft in both. Being drafted to Tampa Bay and being drafted to Ottawa, apparently everyone basically gets drafted to... The LA Kings, or I think there's like one or two other teams that are extremely common. What a shot! Holy smokes, Zibanejad. That is why he has more than a point a game right now. An absolute unit. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Stay away from me, 1-8. Stay away. Do it. That's going in. That's got to be a goal. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm getting too good at that almost. I, I don't know why I keep going for it. Oh, no. Anyway, look at There's another fish in the stands. I don't know why. Like, does anyone actually go to games and, like, do this? Who? No one, right? I'm not crazy. I'm sorry. I'll resist the temptation in the future. I just, I, I don't know why. I felt like I had to. That's a post. Oh, boy. They are still in very much control here. What a save. Smother it. Yeah. Wow. Talk about luck. Actually, false. That was skill. 100% skill, and also 100% reason to remember the name. Oh no, here they go again. Is he gonna shoot it? He probably would have gone for the pass there. He waited too long for it to be a shot. Oh, I see you, mascot. I see you over there. I think I've done this save like four or five times, and I believe it hasn't worked for me once. Okay, well, I was too busy styling and profiling and did not see how this went in. So we're gonna be watching it for the first time together here on the replay. Jason Dickinson. He was second on the team for points, if I remember correctly. Look at this. Walks in. What a goal. And, oh, wow. All right. Not only did he score, but he also made, I believe that was Ole Ulevi, knee his own goaltender in the chin. Incredible. That was definitely not Ole Ulevi. I take it back. Give 9-8 the puck. I want to see what his name is. There you go. 
Dimitrev. All right, he's the one <laughs> responsible for kneeing his own goaltender directly in the dome. Two big saves, I think. That was... All right. Okay. I mean, I think the Vesna, the whole Vesna thing is definitely out of the picture now. That's not going to happen, but I guess I could still have some decent stats. Honestly, at this rate, I'm going to get the Maurice Rocket Richard. It's insane. All right, they're pulling their goalie. We still got the two-goal lead, so I probably will get scored on one more time here, but hopefully not. Maybe we'll go down and get an empty netter, and then we'll be up by three, and they will no longer pull their goalie, unless that logic isn't in the game anymore. I don't know. That's what it used to be, basically. If it's less than three goals, they will pull their goalie. Otherwise, no. Yeah, shoot it. There you go. Nice goal, sevens. And just like that, we are now up by three. We've actually doubled their score. Richie loses the puck because sevens is on fire. He got a goal. Now he's just tuning in to his defensive game. Okay, not a great performance from Tino Manny, but a win nonetheless. James, how about you tell me about Carolina? Tell me about Carolina. Let's check in on some of the final scores across the league tonight. Did Carolina the play? Were in a dog fight on the road against the Canucks. Mm -hmm. Ottawa tore it up offensively I mean, on a night it seemed like everybody was scoring. Senators and how Canucks both aren't dogs, but in this one scoring in the win and here's how it all went down. <laughs> so yeah, someone pointed out that I'm the rookie that scored. <laughs> I didn't put two and two together. Time to look at what was it's also not what it sounded like at all. NHL schedule. The Golden Knights took to the ice to battle the Avalanche. Mm -hmm. Vegas pads the stats Don't care. on this particular night. Everybody gets in on the scoring action and the win. Everyone. The Kings were hoping to play spoiler against the Oilers. Los Angeles. Where is Carolina? On this night, especially between the pipes, where they get a shutout performance in goal. Great. Good for him. Go anywhere. We've got much Thanks. More here on the Thanks, show. James. I guess Carolina maybe didn't play. Fair. But still, tell me anyway. I wonder how their last game went, even if it was seven weeks ago. Our first simulation game comes courtesy of the Smashville Predators. So here we go. First period, second period, third period. We are an offensive... Did, did Ryan Ellis get a hat trick? Relis? Let's see. All He did. No, wait. No, never mind. That's third period. Okay, let's go just period at a time. Chucky got two. Andreas Janssen got two. Meyer got one, Ellis got two, and then Nudavara. Wow, what an offensive showing from your Ottawa Senators. All right, so I guess we're not friends with Kachuk anymore. We're just best buds with Thomas Chablot. So that's cool. Guy steals my number, wants to be my friend all of a sudden. Nashville is known for incredible food. Yeah, I've had this exact conversation with Brady. Holy, of course I'm going. Of course I am. Why would I not go? Great, Tino. Do you think you can pick up the tab for dinner? Am I made of money? What is this? Can anyone please chip in for once? Yeah, I'd love to. Absolutely. You guys are really going to appreciate that. Yeah, I bet. They have just like the last 15 times they appreciated it. How does sushi sound? Not good, actually. I like going to all-you-can-eat sushi places, but I don't eat the sushi. I don't know what it is, but I just can't. To me, it's just not good tasting. Okay, I guess Matt Murray is starting majority of the games here to finish the season. And we have a conversation with reporter. It's the same reporter every time. And now tonight, we got to deal with James. Who will be the league's top rookie with a head-to-head -head showdown between these two? Because I have loved what I have seen from this young rookie netminder. But at the same time, have you seen the highlights from what this explosive dynamic that guy. has been doing? Lighting the lamp across the league. This, I would say this. I think a lot of people. I'm not being the first the star. I'll take year, management down. We'll be watching this, and depending on how either one of these two fare, this might ultimately determine who wins the Calder at the end of this season. Yo, right, screw this guy. Break, how can I get the Calder? That makes no sense. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go and win this game. So technically, this is supposed to be a simulation game, but I'm gonna play it. I am going to play it unless the score gets out of control. So here we go. First period, nothing. Second period. I've seen us have some crazy comebacks recently. Hopefully, this is one of them. It's 4-0. Very unlike the Ottawa Senators to not have any goals. But that's what the third period's for, right? So this will technically be our last regulation or, sorry, regular season game. And then we are, yeah, just going to... Basically be simming to the playoffs, which 
we are in for sure. There's no doubt about it. Nice goal. There it is. We are on the board. A little over two minutes into this one. And we have cut the lead down to three. Just chipping away. Score again. You won't. You won't. Ooh, nice try, Shabbat. I liked what you were going for there. Oh, what? How did that go in? I'm so confused as to how that went in. What's going on in the stands over there? Okay, never mind. I guess I can't see. I do want to see how this went in, though. So, what? It just kind of, like, stuffed five hole, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Ryan Ellis was in front of the net for some reason. And then he just got batted by Hutchinson's stick. Wow. Oh, my word. He did not just do that. He did not just do that. Stay away from me. <laughs> Put it on net. No, it's going wide. I'm going to have to scrap him now, I think. Yeah, here we go. Whatever. It is what it is. I went for it. And I failed for the first time in a while here, actually. I've been pretty successful with it recently. The one time I pretty much need to, can't really do it. That's okay. Hutchinson's going to pay now. Boom. Right to the chin. Ooh, he actually caught me with that. Oh, boy. All right. And see ya. Later, bud. There it is. Did you see his head? <laughs> that was so dramatic. His head snapped back from that uppercut. Well, it is now four on four. I believe this is only beneficial to us. Just gives these guys more room to skate. And we are likely going to get a goal. Or they are. Or they are going to get the goal. What a save. I think we took a penalty. Yeah, it's four on three. Crap. Yoki Haru gets it over to Skinner. Down to Olafson. Ooh, ooh, he went for the glove side shot there, I think. Here we go, Reinhardt. How much longer on the power play? 40 seconds. Okay. We've been doing very good so far. I haven't faced a single shot, but I think I'm about to. Yep. Cool. That's so fun. I don't know what my best bet would have been there either. Because his stick was over here. And then it was just suddenly over here. In a matter of microseconds. There's no human being that can react that fast. Take the shot. You won't. You're right. <laughs> I love this game so much. And I got pulled. Yeah. Not winning that trophy, folks. We'll bring it back mm. to the Calder watch here for yeah. a second. Yeah, let's bring it right and back. It was an interesting showdown between probably two of the front runners for mm. the Rookie of the Year. I'll tell you what, uh, if you got to go pick one winner in this one, I'm going to go with the sniper. I thought the young puck <laughs> yeah, stopper was I would solid do. overall. But at the same time, you know... When you got the sniper that's able to find the I back of the net and able to produce offensively, I'm leaning that way. And I know, I oh, know there's yeah. a lot of What do you mean at the same time then? You just said the same thing. Doing some extra work going into this one. I think he really wanted it. But if I'm going head to head, I'm leaning towards the sniper on this one when it comes to the battle Screw of the Screw you, freshmen. James. Time for a quick break. We're coming back with much more. Time for a quick simulate up to the playoffs. Okay, we've got how many games left? Let's take a look around the league. Okay, James, thanks. We have six games left, but tonight, just yelling in my ear. I'm going to stop simulation just Buffalo to shut you up. Oh, we've actually tied up. Oh, well, we are two games ahead of them. <laughs> Never mind. And we are two games ahead of the Golden Knights, who are only one point behind us. Yeah, President's Trophy not looking too good. But nonetheless, let's finish up the season here. Let's see. If we win these, our last four games, nope. I was going to say we'll have 50 wins, but clearly that's not happening. For more on this, we bring in my broadcast colleague, Ray Ferraro. Bring him in. Uh, award season, buddy. Did you put a tuxedo on for this? I did not. <laughs> hmm. Fair enough. Okay. Who's Humor got me a on tuxedo these. anymore sure. anyway? Well, I mean, I guess just rental companies, I suppose. Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, okay. Humor me on this for as we go what? through I'm some a historian of these awards, now? The Calder. How do you view this and does <laughs> the local product, does the, the young goaltender, does he have a shot for this? I look at the Calder race this year as clumped at the very top. Three or four great candidates. Uh, the goalie here has fallen off the pack. Uh, I thought earlier in the year he had played so well and really had started a string of games in a row. And I thought, man, maybe he's, he's going to take the net over. But he's regressed a little bit. And uh, for me, he's outside the top group. Is clumped an Oof. analytic term? It is officially an analytic term. <laughs> okay, look at, look at the Norris Trophy race here for a second. Well then, rest in peace to my chances of winning the Calder. But we finished the season with a record of 48, 24, and 10. Let's get these playoffs started here when we can. Okay, yeah, so we did not win the President's Trophy. I saw that the Carolina Hurricanes had at least one more point than us, and we have a new conversation with Coach. As we head into this playoff series, What's going on? How about the announcement from the coaching staff opting to go with the, the starter in goal? 
Name the starter. Their goal with the kid. When this playoff series gets underway, Ferda. I like the call. I don't mind it. You know, the future is now is the message, and they're going to go with the kid. Hopefully, youthful energy is going to be a difference maker in this series. Do you Let's like the do call? it. Let's what are those jerseys hanging on the thing there? Yuck. All right. Well, there you go. We are going to be the starter in the playoffs, and we are going up against that prick who I'm going up against in the Calder race, apparently. All right, there it is, Stanley Cup playoffs. So we will start the playoffs in the next video. We ended up finishing third in the league, actually. Let's go check out some stats for the season real quick, I suppose. Stat Central. And then I'll also show you the lines for our team going into the playoffs here. So who ended up passing us? It was probably, ooh, the Jets got 107, Canes 107, we got 106. Knights got 104, so they must have had pretty bad finish there. And we got 86 points out of Zibanejad, 68 from Gallagher. And here be the lines. We got Chucky, Zibanejad, and Gallagher. All right, where's that? Is he still injured? I seriously want to know what happened to this guy. Can I see? Can I see how he got injured or something? Anything? No? Okay, good. He played 23 games this season, 10 points, and then he has been in the hospital ever since. Okay, so that's our offense. That be our defense. This be the goaltender tent. They just said I'm the starting goalie in the playoffs. Am I not? Hello? Let's see. Sim to next game. Are they going to... Oh, okay. Well, conversation with you know, Mr. Reporter Man. One, a little sidebar storyline that I'm Ooh. intrigued to see is how the young rookie is going to fare in his first playoff game. I mean, I this did have is a great rookie year. For. This it's is not a rookie what year, but play for as an athlete. And I know talking to him a couple of days ago, he had kind of had his eyes on the prize. He talked about how excited uh, he was going into this one. And I'm curious to see how he responds. To me, he's played so well. I think that narrative will carry over into this one. But you never know because the intensity just gets Control. turned up a whole lot. So let's see how he responds to that challenge. But I'm looking Thanks. forward to seeing how it all plays out. A couple of other storylines I'm really intrigued to see. how. It... Okay. So this is a pretty big deal. This is interesting. I like this. Spicing up a little bit here again. We are... We are. We are in for the Buffalo Sabres here. Cool. And that's where we're going to start in the next episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get the playoffs started next video. I can't wait.